pawn. I guess I'll trade in double. Oh, he just blunders right into checkmate. All right, let's keep going. go okay let's play e4 yeah i'm gonna sack my queen probably on f7 here i don't know why the music didn't start up but it should have where's the music okay let's go queen f7 here go c3 d4 keep this pretty simple will i play title tuesday tomorrow um We'll see. We'll see. I have no idea. By the way, just to be clear, you guys, yes, I heard that there was a tweet that Levy got married, so obviously congrats to him um, for that. Let's play D3, Bishop E3, maybe Knight D2. How am I doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay, as they say. Okay, I'm going to play Knight D2, maybe Knight F3 here. Requisite levy question. Yeah, there's always a requisite levy question. I mean, it gets really, really tiring, but it is what it is. Let's play D4, maybe D5 here. Will I play the Kansas tournament in 2022 if I qualify? Yes. Um, but yeah. End goal to speed run, very hard to judge. I don't really have an end target right now. I'm going to play E5 here. Thank you to Clemens for the 18th. Thank you to three stingy fingers for the 10. Tony likes physics for the 5. Alice CS Go for the 12. Thank you to Jabrutal for the 3. Ibiza Biza Party Animal for the 5 months. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Thank you to Prime Sub for the uh, Prime. Thank you to Obi Wan Ginobili with the Prime. Double Crazy with the Prime. Civis with the Prime. And thank you so much to Pippi Boy for the Prime as well. Okay, let's Castle. I'm going to need to flag this guy. Did I verify my Cake DeFi account? What do you mean, verify? I don't even know what that means, but I'm registered. Uh, I will say this, by the way. It is kind of funny. Um, people have asked me many times why I don't play like in the Lee Chess. Uh, this is that's a great move. Why I don't play in the Lee Chess titled arenas? And um, uh, Lee Chess simply doesn't put a title next to my name, even they even though they know full well who I am. So uh, there is that because I'm apparently the enemy. So um, so I, I I will just add that little bit. You need to verify to win money. I'm pretty sure. I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll write to Antonio later to figure it out. Uh, don't you have to contact them? Uh, Magnus creates a new account pretty f frequently. And uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have to contact them. I'm pretty sure I think Andrew. Was it Andrew or someone created an account recently too? And um, and yeah, they, they, auto, uh, they, they, auto, they auto add the title. So there's that too. Anyway, let's keep going. So I can play knight b3, knight a5 here, bishop f4, e6. Um, pretty standard so far. I, I might have to flag him though. He's playing a very, very good game. Let's go here. I think I'm gonna have to flag this guy. He's playing a good game so far. I might even sack on c6. We'll see. Thoughts on Magnus cheating versus Daniel? I don't I actually don't know what you're referring to with that. I guess I'll take the pawn, hit b7, hit c7 here, takes, I go here. A lot of pressure coming in now. Okay, let's take the pawn. I guess I'll trade in double. Oh, he just blunders right into checkmate. All right, let's keep going. Thank you to everything is boo for the prime. Thank you so much to everything is boo. Uh, David Hell told me how to trap his queen. I don't, I mean, I don't know what the drama is supposed to be, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to sack my queen. I mean, you guys, look, it's, it's, it, I mean, what's, what's the big deal? Honestly, what's the big deal? Okay, so I'm going to sack my queen, I think on D2, maybe, and play knight D7. Um, you know, let's play it like this. Do I feel younger than 34? I don't know why, but I feel younger. Uh, I feel normal. I feel okay. I feel okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna play e5 here. Maybe bishop c5, maybe b6 next to move, and bishop b7. Um, or bishop e7 too. So let's go here. I guess I just castle. Maybe knight b6, try to trap the queen. Maybe bishop d8. This queen a4. I think I'm gonna go here, attack the bishop and the queen. And we're just gonna castle. Here probably takes maybe bishop e6. I don't love my position, but he's he's also playing very solid chess. It's kind of annoying. Let's play e3 here. He takes that which now I feel like I'm gonna get some play maybe go here target the queen maybe h6 
I might lose this game. This doesn't look very appealing. Go here, attack the bishop. I'll take, of course. Actually, how am I going to win this? Bishops are good, but they're not great. I feel like when you play with a queen down, you really need to, um, you need to be, uh, you, you need to get like knights and bishops being very, very active. Um, okay. I need to just move. Moving is how I'm going to win this game. Although I guess that's, uh, kind of pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Um, okay. That's a good move. Let's go here. Maybe rook c7 and rook b8 or bishop c8 here. Uh, knights are definitely stronger versus lower rated players. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely go here I want to rotate the bishop maybe make a check I'm probably gonna have to flag him if I can it was 92 I'll make a check I'm gonna pre-move this I'm probably gonna go here and try to go some bishop c8 or something maybe I have bishop f2 I'm trying to trap his queen Let's see what happens here go here Um, someone says, is Ferugia going to play, uh, is Ferugia going to play in the World Blitz and Rapid? Uh, Ferugia is registered now? Okay, he is registered. Okay. So, I guess, yeah, then the list is actually quite different now. That's good. I'll go here. I, I don't even know what I'm actually doing. Pretty bad. I'm trying to go A5, B4, I guess. Oh, that's a bad move. Now I get A5, maybe B4 and takes. Time to be scared, huh? Oh, I'm so scared. No, but actually, it's good to see because I was kind of wondering why Fabiano wasn't listed. Uh, Ali Rez, of course, whole different story. But with Fabiano, I was surprised why he wasn't listed since he's already in the region. Like, if Fabiano is traveling from the U.S., it's one thing. But the fact that he's already in, um, he's already in Azerbaijan, I think it is. It's like, yeah. No, I was kind of surprised. So it's it's a good thing though. Let's go here. My opponent's starting to make some mistakes. I'm gonna get at least two knights here, and now I should be able to win. Yeah does take go bishop a6 and king g7 i guess i also have bishop c8 e6 maybe as well see what he does oh wait actually i gotta be careful there was a rook g6 that he had there that he missed nice acting Ooh, yeah i'm so afraid i'm so afraid of everybody that's that's the that's the thing people simply don't understand the reality anybody who's watched the stream knows what the reality realities are but people who haven't watched the stream they think oh i'm just i'm streaming like i'm just retired from chess it's just very it's, it's very funny um it's, it is actually really quite amusing let's go here and attack the rook on d1 i'm lucky levy isn't listed yes i'm very lucky levy's not not listed either you guys i'm i'm i'm, I'm afraid i'm afraid ah <sighs> good lord let's play rook a7 rook b7 go here attack the queen i can play rook e7 or bishop b4 next move hit the rook uh, actually, wait, I have check and Bishop D1 here, and I think I'm doing very well. Yeah, Levy did get married, yeah. Uh, uh, I guess that was a very recent tweet, because I actually only just heard about it myself. Okay, so let's take, go here. Take the Rook. How's life being a retired chess player? Yeah, it's amazing, you guys. I can't complain. Okay, now he's one second, so we're just going to win this very smoothly. We got the dub, and we keep going. I think score is updating, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. But I think it, I think it's updating. Okay, let's play. Um, yeah, did it just update? It did, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Um, okay, let's play some kind of England gambit. Let's go out. Grand Prix nomination will you accept? I mean, they wouldn't have published if I hadn't already accepted. So yeah, I mean, there was already a contract that was signed. Uh, so it's not. It, yeah, I mean, those of you guys who are at wondering, like, is it just a nomination? It's not. They never would have published that if um if if I wasn't if if there wasn't already stuff signed. So yeah, so I'm playing 100%. I mean, that is of course until until the US uh, like prevents everybody from traveling due to Omicron. But um but yeah, as of right now I am playing. Let's go 97. That's pro that's the only way that I'm not um not going to play is if like the US bans traveling or something. So I'm, I'll take the bishop here. Um but we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So I guess I'll develop my bishop, maybe I'll cast. We'll maybe play h6 here. Yeah. I guess I'll go here maybe knight h7 I mean I, I have a piece so I'm doing I'm doing relatively okay I'm gonna stop knight p5 this is a good step how much money they gave you to play uh that's not how it works you guys which I will say is why for Ali Reza going forward at some point 
I feel like uh, whether it's him or his father or their, their whole team, they are going to need to understand the, the realities of the chess world being a professional chess player. That is not a situation. Thank you to Andre Uli for the five gifted. It's not a situation where, um, where, where in a lot of cases you get money. You just, you have to play the tournaments. That's how it works. Um, all I read is playing the, the Blitz and Rapid, yes, but that wasn't really my point. My point is that, like, in regards to Tata Steel, um, that, like, if they're expecting it to be, like, there's, like, to be, like, streaming or something, it's not going to be like that. I'm going to go here. His king is very iffy on D3. Um, so, yeah. Guess, whoa, my man is, uh... My man is trying to run his king into the center and get mated or something. This looks really, 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 really bad. I guess I'll go check and take. This should just be... I mean, maybe this isn't actually winning, though, because he has this. No, I guess I'll just, I'll just take. What is the guy doing? He's, uh, he's moving his pieces in a rather weird manner. Go here. I guess I go B5 and take, maybe. World Rapid and Blitz, yeah. Uh, thank you to Wheels. Are fans allowed? I mean, fans might be allowed, but I don't expect it to be much different from when I played in um, Hamburger in 2019, my last my last actual classical tournament. Um, where okay, let's take the rook here. Where basically there were there were not really fans. There were maybe like five people who came to watch, which is pretty sad, I know, but it was something like five fans. Okay, let's take the bishop here. I guess I'll make a check. I'll take, and then I'll take the rook, and it should be a pretty clean win. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Ali Res and Magnus, yeah. Am I excited to see Magnus again? Someone asked this yesterday. Of course, when you phrase it like that, it sounds kind of weird. Um, I would just say that, honestly, it's been a long time since I played over the board. And as much as I do love playing online, um, I do, in some, as some, in some ways, miss playing, playing over the board, I have to say. I think you know, Moy have milk for the two. Thank you, Daniel, for the prime. Appreciate it. Same mate. Let's keep going. Did I retire? Yes, thank you guys. I retired. Appreciate it. Thank you. I look for tickets, but it doesn't seem like there's an audience. I mean, I don't think there's going to be an I don't think an audience is going to be allowed. I'm going to sack this way this time. He's going to get the weak king. Okay. I can play knight c3. I can play bishop c4. Let's go here. Maybe bishop c4 next move. Um, Go check. Hit the king. Oops. There goes the bishop. Also, the other thing is Ali Reza is playing uh, the World Blitz and Rapid, but I think he has a ridiculously low Rapid rating, so everybody's going to lose, like, a ton of points. Let's play F4. That's, thank you to Dan for the 16 months. Appreciate it. His king is a little bit iffy here on G6, like, more than a little, actually. Okay, I'm going to shock him, and then I guess I'll take or take with the knight. Just a quick question. Am I something consumable? I don't know what that means. Uh, whoa. This guy is also walking his king precariously on the edge here i think he's actually just made it no i just hit this is just checkmate wow is arjun aragazzi playing i think so uh i i don't actually i don't know much about him i played him online um now he has a very high rapid rating i believe which is why i think he shows up for, okay i'm gonna sack queen on f7 again same thing let's go here go check i guess i take this is almost like a fried liver it's kind of like the fried liver a little bit except i'm missing my queen otherwise it's a fried liver go d3 why does when i when i ask a question you look away at chat and miss my questions am i that unlucky <laughs> yes you're that unlucky you're you're that unlucky obviously chat scrolls very fast um i guess i'll go for the juicer in the corner pocket here that's a free rook but yeah it goes there now the question is do i want to trade or not i think i will trade i think i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go no i'll just castle keep it simple how high is the goal i think my goal is to get to like 1200 or not 1200 sorry uh 2000 i don't know why i said 1200 but i think my goal is to get to 2000 ish if i can ish being the right way of putting it let's go here stop night g4 Nah, 1200 yeah <laughs> that's not my goal 1200 relatable yeah exactly um okay let's go here i'm probably gonna play f4 next move 
but yeah, to me, the, the weird thing I will say, though, for people who are asking about, like, Grand Prix being retired or all these different things that I find kind of strange is that, um, people simply don't realize that COVID is going on. It's like, everyone acts as though people have been playing nonstop throughout this pandemic, and people have not been playing nonstop throughout this pandemic. I mean, Vichy, for example, has not played, um, I think, any, he played, like, one Bundesliga event. Ding Laurent has not played, and so it's very strange to me when people talk about it, and they're like, oh, but, you know, they act as though as though it's just like the nor normal times and everyone's just playing nonstop, um, but it's not. So it's it's very, very strange to me, this, this we very weird uh, perception that people seem to have about that. Okay, I'm gonna go here and take, I guess. Or Bishop G5 maybe is better. Yeah, let's go, um, hmm. Actually, let's just take. I guess I'm gonna go here, work F1, Knight D5. It looks quite good. Go here, attack the Knight of Knight D5, Knight of Six, next move. <laughs> yeah, everyone's played because I'm I'm retired. Yeah, I mean Ding Loren has not played though. That's the thing. Ding has not played. Um, uh, my my net worth on Google is one to five million now. No, my net worth is forty five million or fifty million. What are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? What you talking about, Will? So I'm gonna take take the take the knight here. I'm gonna go rook f one. I'm gonna take the bishop. And I'm, I'm doing well. Come on, you guys, seriously. All right, let's take the take with the rook. Take. Let's take I win while I donate the one Bitcoin. Um, I might actually. I might. I don't know. Did I get 20k dollars for the win yesterday? I got, I believe, $16,364, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So I guess I can take the pawn on C7. I can also play like rook f6, rook f7. It's all very, very good right now. Uh, will I stream the arena tomorrow? No, I cannot stream it. So I'll probably stream before it. Um, okay, let's go back to center counter. Again, I don't know if center counter is a great one to sack and exchange. Uh, am I excited? Well, the funny thing about the Agadmator arena is that it is actually... Um, it's 2-0 bullet. And um, and I have not played 2-0 bullet in probably... No cap in probably 20 years. How does Daniel stream Lee Chess? He hasn't streamed Lee Chess since he got his new contract. Play Rook G8. Play Knight D7 Castles. But yeah, good one. Okay, let's take the pawn on H3 here. Oh, what? Wait, is it 2-1 or it's 2-0, it's right? Let's go here. Wait, I thought it was I thought it was 2-0. Is, is there increment or no increment? If it's 2-1, I'm, I'm much happier. Whoops, there goes your queen. Is it, is it one? Is it, wait, what is it? It's two oh, right? It's, there's no increment. Okay, good. Yeah, but I, I'm not, I'm not actually joking. Like, I have not played two oh bullet in probably 20 years. No joke. Um, I guess I'll go here and play rook g6 and rook h6. Yeah, two, two oh bullet. I remember in the old days. Uh, in the old days, I would play um, I would play two zero on the Internet Chess Club because Bullet was one over two zero, so I would, I would play both of those. But long, long time ago, I mean, it's been twenty. It's probably probably been. I'm betting I haven't played two zero since I was like twelve years old. Uh, like seriously, it's been that long. It's been like twenty two years. Okay, let's just take and make a mate. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna play like Queen D three here. Move Queen H seven. Um, no, actually, I'm going to sack the queen here on b7. What was the winning prize? Uh, it was $10,000. But anyway, yeah. Don't forget to berserk. I, I probably won't even do that. There's no option to even play 2 on lead chess. I just know in the old days on the Internet Chess Club, the initial chess site that started it all, really, in like the late 90s, Bullet was 1-0 or 2-0. Those were the two controls. So, I mean, I have a little bit of practice with it from the old days. But nowadays, nobody plays 2-0. Every, everybody plays 1-0. Okay, my man is still thinking here. I don't know why. I'm going to pre-move it. It's a safe pre-move. Yeah, I imagine winning by that margin, no. But I told you guys that you got to know the meta. You got to know your opponent. You have to do your homework. Um, unlike Tom Brady, who got shut out yesterday. Um, so, so yeah, I did my homework. And um, and I knew that, that Wesley was being very slow. His starts were not very good. 
and so because he was so slow um get, getting 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 a <laughs> cheap shot yeah exactly right um but because he was so slow get, getting out of the gate uh in previous matches i knew that um that if i got up to faster good things would happen but uh, yeah okay i guess they abandoned it weird very weird let's keep going I'm gonna play e5 how do i sack my queen maybe i'll just do a normal development for a second um actually i don't know i don't think i can sack my queen for a pawn so i'm just gonna sack for a knight because he's he's gonna develop and blockade everything i think i'm just gonna lose on the spot okay fine i'll just sack it why not let's take the pawn this is actually a very bad opening choice by me to sack the queen here yeah he goes 95 i mean this could get really ugly really fast i guess i'll go here this is pretty yikes i beat i beat something out of west i mean it, it it happens obviously like i said it just it wasn't his uh it wasn't his day i'm gonna go here i guess this is this is really really bad okay he takes the pawns so now at least i get some development with rook d8 was ding game a big fluke or was he better than wesley i think the ding match was a combination of a couple of things uh i think first of all the trend of the match really sort of set a tone so that's the first thing um let's take I would say I would say the trend, the way the match started really was important. If if I win the fourth game, I believe it was, instead of losing it when I had the completely winning position in the scramble, I think there's a good chance the match is completely different. I really do believe that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go here. So it's it's all kind of relative. Like I feel like the match went that way, it trended that way because of what happened. And I don't know if I got tilted or whatever it was, but that didn't that didn't help. And then Ding was just phenomenal. When he got the mo momentum going, he just he kept it rolling. I was definitely much I was I, that was definitely a big wake-up call though. I will say that because like not to sound like not to sort of act like it wasn't a big deal or something but I felt um I felt in many of the speech test championships both last year and this year when I've played it it's kind of like I'm literally just drifting in the match I'm just playing the match and I'm drifting I'm like okay keep the match close till bullet and then sort of turn it on when you get to bullet and um and so I think the match against Ding was was a really big wake-up call aren't I losing no you guys I'm doing fine I'm only down a queen I mean what's a queen it's only a queen and I'm getting I'm getting a rook now as well why would I be losing talk about the Grand Prix a little bit not super in depth but just a little bit yeah oh also you guys were asking me um you guys were asking me about uh, the world blitz and rapid we will have coverage on our channel to be clear we will we will have coverage Benjamin Bach will be covering it for us so it's gonna be a really exciting uh oh I check why did I check oh yeah yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, that was bad. But yeah, so Benjamin's gonna be covering it on our channel. My man just lost his queen. And now he's gonna lose the game. I think you did a grave rob for the seven. Thank you so much, grave rob. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. But but yeah, I felt that yesterday against Wesley, I think the ding match really just put me in this mode where I was just like, no nonsense, be super focused from start to finish. Um I think you did a Lil Inky for the three months. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's keep going. Messing around, calling all you freaks and nerds. You're just missing what you want. Hey. 